Welcome back, everyone. We are at the URI Feinstein Campus in Providence at their lovely gallery that spans two floors. And we are going to be speaking with Stephen Pennell, who is the curator. Good evening and welcome. It's nice to have you here. Uh, this is an exhibit, a uh, one-person show by Angelo Maranashi Jr., who is a Rhode Islander. He was born in Rhode Island and grew up here. Um, he went to Vietnam in, 19, uh, in the late 60s, came back to Rhode Island in 1969. Um, and at, at that time, um, he began uh, studying photography and became a photographer, a very successful commercial photographer, and um, did a number of um, art photography uh, projects and traveled all over the world. Um, he's pretty well known in Rhode Island as a painter, a very expressive painter, and also an uh, artist, a musician, composer, and teacher. Uh, this is all of his, his photography. Uh, this is 137 images from several tours that he took. So it's called A Key to the Door, 50 Years In, because it's 50 Years of Photography by Angelo Marinacci Jr. So I'm going to take you uh, on a tour through Italy. Um, I really love how Angelo um, really captures the soul of the people in the pictures. This gondolier by the, um, the boat um, in Venice. Much of the Italy um, pictures are from Venice. Um, a group of masked um, people at a, at a parade um, in Campo San uh, uh, Marco. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't even say it. Well, anyway, it's in Venice <laughs> during Carnival. Um, some more uh, folks just walking around on the street. Um, lots of folks with attitude, um, like this young woman. Uh, maybe she didn't want to be taken, having her picture taken, I don't know. Um, and this one with her, with her hip out, um, which are really, just really delightful. People on the street doing what they do in, um, in Venice. Um, I love this old couple right here who are in some kind of uh, carnival ride um, and they are having just a time of their life. And these two guys who are on their Vespa uh, tootling around, a group of young people. Um, and uh, this one which has mirrors and so we're actually seeing uh, images that are re reflected images of the people. We're actually not seeing the people. Most of these are black and white, although um, Angelo does work in color, and he's certainly a colorist as a painter. Um, these two are in color, so we have um, a group of empty tables and people walking along in um, St. Mark's Square in Venice, and then a musician, and you can see people in the background. Um, just life in Venice, which is a lot of fun. Um, we have a little girl on the statue of a, a lion with her grandmother, who's just full of joy. And uh, the woman next, um, sometimes when I look at this fast, I think it's Federal Hill because this woman is carrying a whole basket of, of lace. And is it Federal Hill? No, it's actually, it's in Italy. And, um, but she, he really captures the people and their personalities in each of these images um, all along the way. A, a, a woman with a, an umbrella and a couple of guys sitting enjoying themselves and somebody sleeping on a, a step of, of a fountain that's covered over. Um, and uh, the boats on the canal and people on the boats just living life in Venice, which looks like a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I also like how the, the pieces kind of talk to each other. People looking in one direction and people two photographs down looking in the other direction. Here we have uh, um, a guy who's dressed up to be a, um, a living statue in the middle of the square. Um, 
and then uh, a, a gold mannequin in the corner and an old woman and an old man. He's reading the paper up over in the, the corner sitting on the ground and she's standing by. There are lots of fun. These are a little eerie. Um, they are uh, actually negative uh, images. So the, the figures in them are, are, are dark and the buildings are light. So the stonework up there is light and the, the gr um, grout is dark. And, and they're kind of um, appropriate for October, I think. Little Halloween thing going on. Um, over in the, in the alcove here, we have um, some more mirrors that are reflected in, in a window. Um, and again, there's personality in the, um, even though there are no people in the, the uh, images, and it's also a lot about light and shadow. Um, we have a couple of um, color photographs. Um, the one above is of um, a, gond a, a, a gondola, and the below is just a, an empty square. But there's just there's a narrative there, a story that needs to be told, and it's up to you to decide what the story is as you look at the the images. And over here we have. Another one with a lot of uh, light and shadow play, um, leaf blowing, um, some leaves in the corner, very um, sil silhouetted buildings. Can you talk about, sometimes mention what years these are from too? Oh, uh, I, well, there are, there are a couple of trips that he took to, um, to Italy um, and in the, in the 80s and again in the 90s. Um, uh, but and actually, th this whole group here is uh, from 1977. Um, and he's been traveling extensively. So the first work was in 68 uh, from Vietnam bef before he came back and started studying photography. And um, the images go all the way to the 2000s, um, various trips that he took. Um, but Italy, there are, there are sort of three different time periods, um, the, the 70s, one in the 80s, and um, uh, again in the 90s. Um, these are smaller images um, uh, in, this, in this group here. And again, I just really love the, the people and the way that he's captured them. Um, in, in the midst of their daily life. I want to take you back to that one. That's Angelo right over there with the dog. <laughs> Which is fun. So we see a little of his personality. And um, over here we have a, a really wonderful color picture of uh, um, a wedding uh, they're taking a picture with a with a bicycle. I'm not sure that they're actually going to get on the bicycle. I think this is kind of a photo shoot, but it's it's delightful with the cobblestone street and the the stone um, church in the background. Um, and then there's a another whole group of color pieces, um, mostly showing architectural elements, which are um, have personalities uh, as well. Um, and then we have this pair of images. One is of the shadow of a lamp and the other is of the lamp. And um, I really find that quite interesting and delightful how he's played with the, the actual and the shadow of the actual in those images. And then we have these adorable young girls with their umbrellas in looking in opposite directions. Um, and the image of the, on the, the expression on the little girl's face is, is quite delightful. Uh, let's um, come to the other side and kind of look at the um, 
Japan, um, again, all in black and white, um, a lot of shadow. Um, this was in the, the, um, in, in the 80s, 1984. Um, we see little bits of um, the um, influence of the West on um, the rest of the world. So laser discs and um, F off on the guy's shirt. And um, here and there, there's a Coca-Cola. Um, and um, lovely, lovely pictures of little children. Um, and he's really captured their expressions and captured their attention um, in, in these pictures. Um, there's a, a um, fire in a, in a can over here. An old woman working in a field. Um, I think we may be getting close to the end of time. So I just want to encourage you because this continues to go on upstairs and we go to Nicaragua and Guatemala. So I want to encourage. Um, it's up through the 29th of October, and um, it's it's really worth your time to take a look. Um, so please, um, there I give tours on Thursdays and Fridays uh, from three to five uh, at the Westminster Street door, 255 Westminster Street. Um, so if you come, I'll let you in and take you through. Um, we're also open for gallery night, but this is gallery night. So, no, no, you can just show up and uh, I'm at the door and uh, every half hour, 3, 3.30, 4, and 4.30, I'll take a tour through. Thank you very much for coming. Whoop, lost my mask. Well, thank you, Stephen. I definitely, actually, when I end this uh, broadcast right here, I'm actually going to go take a peek at the rest of it. So again, go to uh, the URI link that's listed below, or you can also see more about the exhibit on the Gallery Night website. And we'll be back in just a moment. <laughs>